Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Laughing Place video news update. I'm Becca Burbank, here to bring you the latest Disney parks, movies, and TV news for August 17th, 2022, including Magic Key Renewals, a potential Big Thunder film finding its directors, and more. First up, at long last, the Disneyland Resort revealed Magic Key Renewal details this week. Current key holders within their 30-day expiration window will be able to renew into an available pass beginning August 18th. While the Imagine, Enchant, and Believe keys will once again be offered, albeit at higher prices, the Dream Key has been officially discontinued. Instead, the new Inspire Key will serve as the top tier option, but will retain some blackout dates. Specifically, Inspire Key holders will be unable to make park reservations between December 21st and January 1st. Other changes coming to Magic Key include some new perks, such as all key types offer 20% off the purchase of Genie Plus, and the two lower tier passes adding 25% off parking at the Toy Story lots. These benefits and others will be added to all existing key holders on August 18th as well. Notably, at this time, Disney is only focusing on Magic Key renewals and has not announced any plans for new sales. Additionally, the company has stressed that renewals for certain key types may be paused at any time. For much, much more on all of the updates to the Disneyland Resort's Magic Key program, be sure to visit laughingplace.com or check the links in the description box down below. Over at Walt Disney World, guests visiting the resort early next year may want to take a closer look at their transportation options. That's because the popular Skyliner will be undergoing a brief refurbishment in January. The entire system is currently set to be closed for routine maintenance from January 22nd through the 29th. During this time, bus transportation will be available. So, especially if you're staying at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort, Disney's Pop Century Resort, Disney's Art of Animation Resort, or Disney's Riviera Resort during this week, you may want to put in a call to your travel agent. This week, the new Boardwalk Deli opened in place of the former Boardwalk Bakery at, you guessed it, Disney's Boardwalk Resort. The updated location now serves a variety of sandwich and wrap options in addition to some sweet treats, including some old favorites. This change from bakery to deli comes ahead of the opening of the Cake Bake Shop by Gwendolyn Rogers, which will occupy the former space of ESPN Club. That venue is currently set to arrive in 2023. Disney Cruise Line is once again updating its health and safety protocols for some upcoming cruises. Beginning September 2, 2022, for sailings departing U.S. and Canadian ports, the cruise line will require guests aged 12 and older to be fully vaccinated against COVID-19, as defined by the CDC, at the time of sailing. Prior to this, the vaccination requirement began at age 5. However, Disney Cruise Line still highly recommends that guests ages 11 and younger be fully vaccinated before sailing. Note that the negative tests will be required for sailing, with the rules for these tests varying for vaccinated and non-vaccinated travelers. For full details, be sure to visit Disney's Know Before You Go section of their site. In movie news, Disney has reportedly tapped a directing duo to helm the new Big Thunder Mountain Railroad film project. According to Deadline, Bert and Bertie, who worked on multiple episodes of Marvel's Hawkeye, are in negotiations to direct a movie based on the popular Disney Parks attraction. Should the project come to fruition, it would be among other rides and attractions to get movie adaptations, including Pirates of the Caribbean, The Jungle Cruise, and who could forget, The Country Bears. In fact, a new Haunted Mansion film is currently in production and set for release on March 10th. Obviously, it's too early for this Big Thunder movie to have a release date or other details, so stay tuned for future updates. Finally, in some sad news, performer Cal David, known to Disney Parks fans as the voice of the iconic Sunny Eclipse, has passed away at age 79. Born David Raskin, Cal was a blues singer, guitarist, and songwriter who first worked with Disney on the Goofy About Health attraction at Epcot's former Wonders of Life Pavilion. He'd later give voice to Sunny Eclipse, the intergalactic lounge singer, who can still be seen performing at Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe in Magic Kingdom. Our hearts go out to his family, friends, and fans during this difficult time. And that will do it for this week's Laughing Place video news update. For more on the latest news from around the Walt Disney Company, be sure to follow LaughingPlace.com and subscribe to our channel right here on YouTube. Until next time, bye-bye!